Hi guys, today's video is going to be another reading video. We are going to be reading The Cool Bean. Let's start. The Cool Bean. Written by Jory John and illustrated by Pete Oswald. Cool beans. Watch out! Here come the cool beans. Oh yeah! Check out how they move. Look at the way they swag. Notice the sunglasses. Yow! The cool beans are known all over school. From house to house. Across town, beyond town, county lines. Wait, county? Yeah, county. Sorry, county, country. Can't help it. The spell is pretty blank. Anyways, in the olden days, last year, we were all one big pot of beans. We were a mixed bag, but somehow it worked. Yep, those were the good old days. And then we stopped seeing each other much. Sigh. That's just how it is sometimes. We spend less time together. Isn't it though you're not totally sure why? As I watched the beans, I watched as the beans I knew so well, the beans from my own pod, became the cool beans. Oh, they were so cool. One of them could play the guitar. Cool. One of them could draw the best superheroes. Cool. One of them could jump higher than any bean I've ever known. Cool. Me? Well, I must have stayed the, stayed the same. Sure, I made some small changes. I wore sunglasses. Too big. I slicked my hair back. Too slick. Started around. Oof. Mm, ow. I swaggered. Oof. <sighs> I was still fit to last for everything. My clothes never seemed to fit. I snorted when I laughed. I walked into stuff. Wump. I was an uncool bean, for sure. I started thinking of myself as just a common bean with no special skills. I couldn't compete, so I didn't even try. I'd never be cool bean. Now that's attitude. It seemed like there were two types of beans in the world. There were the cool beans. And the beans like me. I really like that bean. It's choice of sunscreen. SPF 200. Now that's good. Days all blended together. I lived my life and things were just okay. I took tests, ate lunches, 
and mostly kept to myself. The cool beans continued being cool. I mean, sure, I missed them a bit, but it's not like I was going to say anything. I felt like all that coolness had gotten in the way of our friendship. And that's how it went until one day I was in the cafeteria. I dropped my lunch on my loafers. Oh no, not again. But then something sort of miraculous happened. Out of nowhere, one of the cool beans helped me clean it up. He didn't even say anything. He just gave me a nod. That was it. Later, I was out on the playground. I tripped and scraped my knee and maybe cried a little bit and everybody saw it. Another one of the cool beans came to my side and without a word, he dusted me off. <laughs> They're beans instead of bandages. Bandages. I was sitting in class. I wasn't really paying attention. I didn't notice, but a teacher had called on me. Everybody stared. I sat there in silence. Nobody said anything. And then, then, everybody just laughed at me. <gasps> look at the teacher right there. And then look at the teacher right there. The teacher should be being mad, stamping his foot at everybody. Now these beans do not look very nice. Especially that one. That was it. After today, I was officially a has-been. Wait, has-been or has-been? Has-been? Has-been. Never mind, just keep going on the story. But then one of the cool beans stood up and came over to me. Everybody watched. She leaned in close and whispered, Hey, the teacher asked you to read from page 32. She gave me a quick wink. Wait. And went back to her seat. It was a small gesture. Sure. But it was also everything. Wait. I walked home with a goofy smile on my face. I smiled all the way through dinner. That day made all the difference. It was a day that I could that could have been really bad. If not for the kindness of a few cool beans. Somebody had my back. Or a few somebodies. After that, I started hanging out with the cool beans again. How have you been? Get it? How have you been? Because there are beans. Not all the time. But sometimes, at lunch, after school, even on the weekends, they're in a movie theater. Theater. Oh, that gets me confused. Okay, stop smacking yourself on the head. Throughout all of this, I realized that it's not about how you look. Or any of that other silly stuff. 
It's about a wink or a nod or a smile at just the right moment. It's about dusting somebody off, helping them up again, and pointing them in the right direction. You need a hand? Yes, please. Now that's cool. Thank you for reading the cool bean with me. I hope you liked it. See you later. Sorry.